From the weather team you can trust, here's Chief Meteorologist Eric Snyder. You know, there's a part of me that's always so excited about this concept here. We're going to get a great chance to see the northern lights. And then there's the realist in me that recognizes, I don't know that Mother Nature is going to cooperate in any way, shape, or form. So here's the deal with this. We're talking late Thursday night into early Friday morning. we got to keep in mind here, the timing of some of these sun burps, these solar flares, if you will, uh, is very fickle. Modeling is often not great with this. So that's the general ballpark. It could be a little plus minus in terms of several hours. We rate these on a scale of G1 to G5. The higher the G, the stronger the geomagnetic storm and the brighter and lower in latitude the auroras tend to get at G3. That's a strong storm. And when you tend to get G3 levels or greater, you easily end up with an opportunity to see the northern lights very often naked eye northern lights. You don't need to have a nice fancy camera to pull that off here with more photographic auroras getting even farther south than there. So on paper at G3, I'm loving it. That, that's a great number. That to me in the past has often gotten me some really cool pictures of being able to see this. Now here's the reality that we've got. We may have partly cloudy skies into the early evening on Thursday, but the reality with this is we think the timing of that flare is more than likely going to be after midnight into the wee hours of Friday morning. By that point now, we got a problem. Partly cloudy has now become almost entirely overcast. Now let's pretend that this thing slows down. Can we say, all right, can we root for this thing to hold off until maybe Friday night? That's possible. That happens. Here's your Friday. It's cloudy. It's raining most of the day, and then we go into Friday night. I'm telling you, I, I just don't see a pathway here to being able to clear that sky out in any way, shape, or form locally. So unfortunately, if this does end up being a fairly significant geomagnetic storm and the northern lights are dancing, you're going to get to see some cool photographs on social media, but I don't think you're going to be able to pull it off locally here. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. Maybe somebody finds a break, but as it stands right now here in western New York, this does not look like a good one for us.